What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. Today I am swatching a highly anticipated release for you guys and that is the Multi Chrome Collection from Holo Taco. So these polishes just came out yesterday. I did get them in PR from Christine and the Holo Taco team. So thank you so much guys for sending these over. If you guys haven't heard of Holo Taco before, it is a US based nail polish brand created by YouTuber Christine of Simply Nail Logical. These polishes are five free, meaning they are free of five of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan and they are also cruelty free. So we've got five brand new polishes in the set. They're all really beautiful multi-chromatic shades. So I'm going to show you guys swatches of each of them on their own. And then I'm also going to do swatches over black just so you guys can see what that looks like. So yeah, let me show you guys the swatches first and then we'll go over pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll swatch footage. So as always with my swatch and review videos, I am going to be using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I am using the Holo Taco Long Lasting Base Coat. So we'll start off with the shade Cat's Evasion. All of the polishes in this collection are multi-chromatic, meaning they do shift to a lot of different color variations based on the light and the angle of your nail. So this one shifts from a really prominent fuchsia color into a golden orange yellow and then at the very edges it can be a little bit green too. So as you can see on my nail I tried to do two different light sources so you could see some of that color shift. So the prominent color when I'm looking directly down at my nails is that fuchsia color but then at certain angles it does look like that golden yellowy color. So all of the polishes are also relatively sheer on the first coat. I did manage to get the majority of my coverage in the second coat but Christine recommended in her video to do a thin, careful third coat just to create a nice brush stroke evenness on the nail because when you're applying it for coverage, sometimes it can look a little bit streaky. So here is the polish on its own in three coats. It's a really beautiful shade. I do love that fuchsia color and I also love that beautiful golden shift. I also wanted to try the multi chromes over black just because I wanted to see if they would give the same amount of multi chromatic coverage because personally I like to savor my nail polishes and make them last a long time. So I am going to show you guys all the swatches over black. This is Cat's Evasion over black and it looks really beautiful, maybe slightly darker, but still the same amount of color shifting effect. Next up we have the shade Purple with Envy, which is of course another multi chrome polish. This one when I'm looking Looking directly at it looks like a cool toned purpley blue and it shifts into that really vibrant fuchsia purple shade as well as a little bit of almost like a greenish around the edges. So this is another really beautiful one. Again, a little bit sheer on the first coat, but once I threw on that second coat, I managed to get mostly full coverage. I was applying the second coat just for coverage, so I wasn't really careful with my brush strokes, which ends up making it look just a tiny bit streaky, which is why I said, like Christine recommended, I did end up doing a third coat of each one just to have nice, careful, smooth brush strokes. So in that case, I just go from the top to the bottom of the nail all the way across my nail so that it looks nice and even and smooth. And this is just a really beautiful color shift. I love the way it looks on the nails. You can't really see too much of that greenish yellow when it's actually on the nails as opposed to in the bottle, but the two colors that it has that really strong shift into look super gorgeous. And here is purple with envy over black for anybody who is curious. I was really impressed with how these covered the black, especially considering they did appear to be relatively sheer on the first coat when I was applying them on their own. So I was really excited to see that that worked nicely. I was able to get that nice careful brush stroke in just the first coat and it looks really beautiful on. I would say the colors are slightly darker when they are over black but you still get that full color shift. Next up we have the shade Blue Ain't Slick and this was another multi-chrome. This one actually did have a little bit more subtle of a color shift but you can still definitely see that on the nail. When I'm looking directly at it it looks like almost like a sky turquoisey kind of blue but then in certain angles and lighting it looked like a really rich royal primary blue. So once again, on the first coat, it was a little bit sheer coverage. I did get most of my coverage on that second coat, but I ended up throwing on a third coat anyway, just to get those nice careful brush strokes. This one in the bottle does look like around the edges, it has a little bit of a purple and even a gold, but I wasn't able to see most of that on the nails. Regardless, I think this is a super gorgeous color. I feel like it's super like oceanic and just, I don't know, it's got like a little bit of a fantasy feel. 
feel to it. So I was really happy with this one. Like I said, more of a subtle color shift. So for those of you guys who are interested in multi-chromes but don't want to go too crazy with the color differences, I think this is a really great option for you. And here is blue and slick over black once again, just so you guys can see what that looks like. And whereas most of these were looking a little bit darker over black, I would say this one looked the most similar over black as it did over the naked nail. And I would guess that's because the base color for this blue is a little bit darker. So it didn't actually blacken the color like the other shades were a little bit blackened over black. Oh my gosh, I said black so many times just then. <laughs> but yeah, just another really beautiful way to wear it. Next up, we have the shade Mist Shift, and this one was my favorite of the collection. I'm actually wearing this in the intro and outro of this video, and I also tried to do a little bit of Mist Shift makeup to match, if you guys may have noticed. But yeah, this one is a green to purple multi-chrome shift. So when I'm looking directly at my nails, it looks like it is that really rich, forest green shade, but then in certain angles, it looks like that really beautiful, cool toned purple. I love this combination of colors. I think it's so beautiful. It especially feels like fallish and even Halloween-y because of this color combo. Like, does this not remind anybody of just like every villain in any cartoon because these are the exact colors? I totally love it. This one, I actually feel like I was able to get good enough coverage into coats that I was careful enough with my brush strokes and I was fine with it, but I am showing you guys three coats just so you can see what that looks like for comparison's sake. But yeah, just a really beautiful shade. And once again, here it is over black. I really love the way that all of these looked over black and I love being able to save the polish. So I'm only using one coat for my manicure, which is a really nice way to make expensive nail polishes last longer. So I was really excited about that. This is actually making me a little bit curious to see what these colors might look like over other cream shades. I feel like that might be worth trying. And finally, we have the shade Chameleon Coat, our fifth and final color in this collection. So this one, looking directly at it, it has a really interesting base color to shift into. I'm not even totally sure how to describe it. Christine referred to it, I think, as a gunmetal color. I feel like it's more of like a grayed out green. I don't know how to describe it. It's so interesting, but it does shift into a yellowy green and then into a really rich foresty green. So you get a whole lot of beautiful greens in this shade. This one I found to be a little bit more sheer than the rest, but I was still able to get that same coverage. I did the two coats for coverage, and then I did the third coat just to make sure that my brush strokes were looking nice and solid on the nails. And yeah, just a really beautiful shade, of course. I love green. I feel like I say that a lot, and I'm always looking for a new green nail polish, so I'm really excited to have this one in my collection. And here, once more, we have Kim Million coat over black and I feel like this one just worked so well over the black. I think because it is a little bit more on the sheer side, it was able to get that like darker, more mysterious vibe over black. So I totally love that. And now that I'm thinking about wearing these over other colors, I would love to see this over a green to see how it performs. I feel like that would be so interesting to try out. And as I have been doing lately, here is a quick color comparison of all of the shades in this collection. So you can see we've got some vibrant shifts. We've We've got some subtle shifts and we have a whole beautiful variety of colors here. So it just depends on what you're in the mood for. So yeah, those are the polishes. They were all super gorgeous. I did love them on their own, but I was really excited to see how they performed over black. If you guys are like me and you really covet nail polishes and you don't want to use them up, this is a really great option for you to get that multi-chromatic look without using up three coats at a time. So I was really happy to see that that worked. So these polishes are exclusively on the Holo Taco website. They are 12 milliliters each and they retail for $14 USD per bottle. You can also get this limited edition collector's box if you get the whole set. It's got a really beautiful multi-chromatic outside and then a little hollow design on the inside. These usually go super quickly. At the time of filming this video, it is still available, but these usually sell out first. So if you are interested, I would grab this ASAP. But yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. So what do you think of these polishes? Which is your favorite? Are you planning on picking any of them up? Let me know in the comments. You know I love chatting with you guys. If you guys like my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Raven. And Raven wants to know, what was your favorite cartoon as a kid? Um, <laughs> so I feel like I should warn you guys, I am older than I look slash act. I actually grew up watching like Ren and Stimpy and Rocco's Modern Life, but 
those were not like my favorites by any stretch. Actually, they used to give me terrible nightmares. But in terms of life-changing like cartoons that I absolutely loved, would watch again as an adult, have watched as an adult, I would say there are two main ones. One is Avatar The Last Airbender. I've talked about it before on my channel. Best show of all time. I did just recently rewatch it and it was just as fantastic as I remembered. But number two, and hear me out on this, but Danny Phantom. Like what a good show. I feel like that was actually a life-changing show for me as a kid because I thought it was just so cool. Like I loved the whole concept behind it. And I also loved Sam. Like I feel like her style just spoke to me and obviously as an adult, I try to emulate that style. <laughs> I just wanted to be Sam. She was so cool. And I would totally watch that show again as an adult. I don't know if it's available anywhere, but I would totally rewatch that. That was such a good show. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.